Six thousand years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Amshir, the sacred desert. On death's door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the desert god, Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on earth could stop the supernatural warriors, and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis was returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Hey. Though thousands of years have passed since then, history has a way of repeating itself. According to the calendar of the ancients, the year of the Scorpion is once again upon us. Though my old friends Rick and Evie, and now their son Alex, think only to spend their days in pursuit of knowledge and treasure, they will soon find themselves on the path of danger once more. Stumbling through the ruins of the ancient past, they uncover an accursed treasure that leads them to their destined place in the ultimate battle between good and evil. For the mummy returns. So dark in here, Rick. And yet, it's all so familiar. Uh, tell me, Sweet Pea, if this ancient temple has been sealed off from the world for a thousand years or so, why is there a burning torch right over there? Take your pick, darling. Could be grave robbers, treasure seekers, or just the eternal flame of the damned. Now you're talking! I pick grave robbers. Can we go now? I can hardly make out a single hieroglyph. And yet... Something tells me I've seen this all before, as if in a dream. What, sand, scarabs, scorpions? Darling, throw in an evil mummy or two, and you're basically describing our honeymoon. Scorpions? Where? Be careful, Alex. Oh, Mom, I'm always careful. Alex, you all right? I think so, but... I fell down some kind of steep chute, and I can't get back up it! Sorry I broke the temple, Mum! Oh, Alex! Can you tell me where you are? Can you see anything? Uh, not much. I'm in a huge room, filled with giant statues. But I can't see much else. It's really dark in here. Don't worry, Alex. We'll be right there. We've got to find another way down there. Come on. Unbelievable. The chamber of the Scorpion King. Whew. I hate to think what's in there. Mom! Dad! I'm in here! Is that you? You've got to get me out of here! Alex! Hang on! We'll hurry! Don't oh, budge. All right. Let's try it your way. Can you read the instructions on this thing? There's something here about four keys. No, no, not keys exactly. Four immense rubies that act like keys. We've got to place them into this cartouche, and the Scorpion King will be appeased and let us enter. There. That doesn't sound so bad, Alex. We'll just go take a look around for those rubies and come directly back for you. All right. Let's do it. Some sort of ancient crypt. Look, this chamber is the final resting place of a most beloved servant of the Scorpion King himself. Apparently he's some sort of guardian. Guardian of the keys, actually. And the rest is just a lot of the usual gibberish about how all who enter here will die a thousand deaths and... Gibberish? Hmm, maybe we should skip this room. Come on, we've got to find Alex. Alex! You alright? 
Mom! Dad! I thought you'd never make it! Darling, don't worry. We're all together now. We'll be safe. Uh, don't make any promises you can't keep, sweetie. Look. What's this? The carvings suggest a sacred power, greater than can be known or imagined. That's great, honey. Honey! Uh, Mum? Oh my god! It's the mythical bracelet of the Scorpion King! The Benbridge scholars said it couldn't really exist, and yet here it is. That's what they said about this guy, and yet here he is too! Evie, run! Let's go home now, Rick. Really, I want to go home. You sure? This place has got it all. Sand, scorpions, spiders. I'd hate to just walk away from all this. Rick, don't make me beg. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Arriving back in Britain after their narrow escape from the temple ruins, Rick, Evie, Jonathan, and Alex are surprised by Mila and a group of Imhotep's red turbans. Alex is the first to realize that they're after the bracelet box his family brought back from the temple. Hoping to ruin their plot, Alex puts on the bracelet found inside the box and replaces it with a heavy vase. Mila and the Red Turbans kidnap Evie and steal the useless box, thinking they have finally found the bracelet. Yet all is not lost. Alex recognizes that one of the intruders is actually the curator of the British Museum. Hot on the trail, the group sets off to make their way to the famed museum. Arriving there, Alex and Jonathan are left in the car, while Rick and Ardith Sneak inside the museum to get Evie back, and with any luck, stop Mila and the Red Turbans along the way. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna rip apart every inch of this place until we find my wife. That is your plan? You got a better one? Where I come from, we would just ask him. Get out of here! Get out while you still can! It's chaos! The basement's full of dark creatures, strange fellas in red turbans, and they're all armed. Every one of them! They're up to some kind of strange ceremony, and all I know is I'll be damned if all the museum's displays are coming to life. I know it sounds daft, but it's like the whole place is under some kind of spell or something. How do we get to the basement? Well, you'd have to ask Roger about that, wouldn't you? Seeing as he's the only one with the key to the basement level. Where is this Roger? Well, you'd have to ask Charlie about that, the old mule. Seeing as he's the only one with the key to the second thing about the second floor. We're trying to get to the basement. Don't get snippy with me. I'm under a considerable deal of stress at the moment. Roger's up there on two. That's where he works. So, where's Charlie? Oh, he's hiding down here somewhere, scared witless. That old mother hen, you won't be seeing old Charlie till you've cleared every threat of danger from this floor. Destroy everything, make it good and safe down here. Then the old goat will come creeping out and act like some kind of hero or something. Enough said. Good luck then, my shift's over. I'm getting out while I still can. Did you get any of that? Something about a mule, a goat, and a hen. Like an ancient proverb. We gotta find the guards and get upstairs to get access to the basement. And then, we just gotta stick to the original plan. Rip this place apart while we look for my wife. You are wise, Rip. Stop the name of my dark lord, Imhotep. I will crush you like a desert mouse. Look, trouble. Something very bad is happening here tonight, O'Connell. I fear the worst. You. You must be Charlie. 
Depends on who's asking. I am, Charlie. I'm asking you to get your donkey's butt upstairs and unlock the floor so I can get the guy up there to let me into the basement, where the odds are growing by the minute that an undead mummy is harassing my wife. Not a chance! No way! I'm not coming out of here until there's no more spooks on this whole floor! You hear me? You won't get any help from me until this whole floor looks sleepier than a Sunday school! All right! Quit whining! I'll see what I can do. And then you're walking me upstairs, Charlie. Spooks or not. Oh, you've done saved me life! Open the door. But you've done saved me life. Open the door. Blimey, I can't believe you two. We haven't got time for this, old boy. Now where exactly on the second floor is Roger? I can't be entirely sure. Hiding, that's for certain. But where? I don't know. Well, your safest bet is if you clean up that floor the same way you did here, Roger will likely pop up. Just make sure it's safe. You guards are funny little men. What do they pay you for? I'm not fighting villainous creatures, that's for certain. I'm going home. Connell, your wisdom shines again. All we've been doing is ripping this place apart. And we'll do it some more. Let's clean up the second floor and look for that guard. He'll be hiding, so we should check anything suspicious. Listen, do you hear that? The chanting. Those are Imhotep's priests. They must have Evie downstairs, just as we suspected. Ah, we really need to get that basement key. Go away! Roger, that you? Go away! Listen to me. I need to get into the basement. It's very important, Roger. I think my wife is in danger. I'm not coming out of here until they've gone. Every last one of them. The creatures! They're horrible! <sighs> All right, we're on it. Stay here. We'll be back for you. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Evie! Mummies. Did I mention I hate mummies? I don't think he likes you much either. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Thank you, my servants. Your master has awoken. We are too late, O'Connell. The creature has risen. You! This time I want him dead! Hi, honey. Bad day? I'm fine. Let's see. You've been kidnapped, tied to a sarcophagus, and by all accounts, you're about to be digested by a mummy. Don't be silly, sweetheart. He has no digestive organs. They're probably all tucked away in some long-lost canopic jar somewhere. We have no choice but to destroy them, or we will never get out of here alive. <laughs> Humans, I am an immortal. You are no match for my powers. Why do you challenge my greatness? Mom! Dad! Don't let them take me! <laughs> Museum basement in the nick of time. Rick and Ardeth are able to save Evie. However, amidst the fray, Imhotep and Mila discover that Alex is carrying the bracelet after all. Brushing Jonathan aside, Mila and her henchmen kidnap Alex. When Ardeth tells a worried Rick and Evie that the bracelet is going to lead Alex, along with Imhotep and his minions, to the Golden Pyramid of the Scorpion King. They set off after him, headed for Cairo.
We'll never find him here. This is futile. I need to stop and catch my breath. We have many allies here, O'Connell. Do not despair. Cairo has long been a stronghold for the Magi. My men have established a safe house in the hotel. I will take Evie there to get some rest. She will be safe there. I'll keep looking for Alex. You must search the entire town. He could be anywhere. You shouldn't have too much difficulty getting around town. But when you get to the docks, you will have to bribe your way past the guards. They are men of little honor. The second you find out anything about Alex, or if you see Imhotep or his men, come find us back at the hotel. Yes. Do not try to rescue Alex without me. This is my town, and you will need my help this time. But hurry, Rick. Night is falling, and Alex will be scared. And I'll be scared for him. Sorry, this area is restricted. No public access. That's right. I almost forgot. You are men of little honor. What can I offer these guys? Let you through for that little... Ha! I'm not running a charity. Ah! I've seen Alex. He's being held at the train station. We've got to go after him before it's too late. Evie, stay here. You will be safe with the Magi. No harm will come to you on their watch. O'Connell. Night has fallen. The streets of Cairo would not be safe for her tonight. We must exercise extreme caution. The creature is in our midst. The people, look at their faces. Imhotep has made zombies of them. Dad! The Golden Pyramid! We're going to the Golden Pyramid at Armshire! Dad, I'm scared! You've got to hurry! I don't have much time! <laughs> don't worry, Alex. I'll kill him all over again before I let anything happen to you. Weeping. With Alex in plain sight, Imhotep and Mila still manage to get away. But Rick has become even more determined to get his son back. Knowing that the mummy is headed for the Golden Pyramid, Rick convinces his longtime friend, Izzy, to pilot the group to the hidden oasis in his trusty dirigible. Yet, as our heroes near the horizon of their destination, Imhotep discovers them and sends a cursed wall of water crashing towards them to bring them down. Eventually caught by the rising flood, the dirigible plummets down into the miraculous jungle. A jungle that exists in the desert, part of the hidden sacred oasis surrounding the mythical Golden Pyramid. Is everyone all right? We don't have time to stop and lick our wounds. Alex is out there, and we've got to find him before it's too late. She's right. We have got to keep moving. This is Arm Shear. The army of Anubis will spring from this oasis. I must go warn the Magi. Stay with me, my friend. Just until we find Alex. I can't do it without you. All right. We move forward. But split up. Look, we know Imhotep is headed for the Golden Pyramid with the boy. He's right. We find the way to the Golden Pyramid. We find Alex. But be careful. The jungle hides many dangers. What the? Be careful. I'm serious. This is not your same old average booby-trapped ancient temple. Those were sharp logs. Evie, maybe you and Jonathan should stay behind until I find a safer way. Yes, thanks. What an excellent plan, Rick. Have a nice look around the jungle, and when you've found the easiest route between here and there, Jonathan, don't be such a wimp. We have no time for this, O'Connell. If we are to find your son, we must hurry. Don't mind us. We can find our own way through the jungle. Come along, Jonathan. 
We'll meet up with them at the Golden Pyramid. Uh, I liked his plan better. Dad! Oh, thank God. Alex! Dad! Dad! Listen to me! The bracelet! It's going to kill me! I've got to get inside the Golden Pyramid by sunrise! Dad! That's right now! You've got to get me inside the pyramid before the sun touches it! You okay, Alex? Yeah, thanks, Dad. <sighs> you know, it's hard being a dad. Mom! Evie, no! Evie has been slain by Mila, and everyone is at a loss. Time seems to be at a standstill as the mourning few surround Evie in shock. Our hero, Rick, is driven all the more, driven by revenge, driven by rage. Knowing that Imhotep intends to raise the Scorpion King and steal his mythical army, our hero follows Imhotep through the Golden Pyramid down to the Netherworld. He will send the mummy back to the spirit world, or die trying. Watch over Alex for me, Jonathan. It's time to end this game. Imhotep! I'm coming for you, old friend! It's time I sent you back to hell! Again! Human, that is the door to the netherworld. No mortal can cross over, not until you capture the four amulets held by the Anubis commanders. But the living do not often survive the Anubis. <laughs> I will fight you in the netherworld, if you live long enough. Until then, I will laugh at the memory of your beloved. <laughs> You're gonna regret that. So you are strong, Rick O'Connell. Good. There will be less shame in my victory. More honor in your death. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to count your chickens before they're hatched? It's bad manners! Hello. And holy mackerel! For winning his fight with Imhotep, Rick has not reached the mummy in time to keep him from summoning the Scorpion King. With the mummy lying in tatters before him, Rick is left to peer into the dismal abyss of the Scorpion King's lair, knowing that if he is to save the world, he must face what lies beyond. The Scorpion King waits. You did it! Evie, you're... He used the Book of the Dead. He stole it from Mila and brought me back to life. 
Using perfect ancient Egyptian, I might add, he'll make an excellent Benbridge scholar one day. I thought... Shh. Can we go home now? Amidst the chaos, Alex grabbed the Book of the Dead from Anaxuna Moon and used it to resuscitate Evie. Then, with Imhotep defeated, the Scorpion King destroyed, and our heroes united. The hidden oasis destroys itself, drawing the vast jungle into a single vortex created by the pyramid. It doesn't look good for Rick and his family as they struggle to the top of the pyramid, until... Izzy and his battered dirigible emerge from the horizon. As my valiant friends make their escape and sail safely away from the destroyed oasis of Arm Shear, the world is as it should be. Evil has once more been conquered. Good has again prevailed. And I will continue to watch over the sands of Egypt, always ready for the day when it may return.